I'm joined now by, well, who's going to be the playing coach for the Denny Rovers for 2021? Because 2020 wasn't much of a year for sport. It's Alex Hay on the line. Alex, how are you going, mate? Yeah, well, thanks. Thanks for having me on. That's all right. Well, yeah, big news. Well, kind of big news. Big news for you, Alex. Uh, Being reappointed as uh, playing coach for 2021, that must be a pretty good feeling. Yeah, definitely. Um, I said in the paper the other day after a um, 100% success rate last year after a successful practice match and then we didn't have any games (laughs) after that, so... (laughs) I thought it would be pretty um pretty hard not to not to give me the gig again. So yeah, more than happy to have another crack at it. <laughs> I did have a bit of a chuckle when I read that, Alex. I have to admit it's a pretty bold statement. Hundred percent win rate <laughs> after one practice match. Well you can't go wrong with that. Are you feeling excited for twenty twenty one? Does it feel like it's gonna be a good season? Oh, definitely, yeah. I think I think well hopefully we're just looking forward to getting back on the park. It was a bit disappointing not having anything to look forward to on the weekend this year and after a pretty long pre-season and doing over the work over the summer and not getting to put it into action was a, was a little bit difficult. So hopefully um, hopefully next year we can, we can sort of emulate that start that we had at the start of this year and, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it pans out well for us if we get up and going. It's probably just been a bit of a giant rest this year, has it? Uh, yeah, well, I think myself and a, and a few older bodies included probably needed needed a little bit of a break so I, I sort of it was, it was disappointing not to play I probably wasn't complaining halfway through the year when it's cold and miserable and you're waking up pretty sore on the Saturday and it takes you half the week to get over it so hopefully uh, hopefully a bit of a rest for the boys might might have us all freshened up and, and ready to crack in next year. Yeah for a lot of you there wouldn't have been a Sunday morning you wouldn't have been dragging yourselves out of bed I suppose but uh, <laughs> so it's pretty good news uh, I think a lot of the team have recommitted is that correct? Yeah, yeah, no, we've we've been really lucky. I, was, I signed on last year. We we went into a di- little bit of a different approach to. Um, well, we we made it a real goal to to keep everyone on board, especially all the local guys. We we didn't we didn't have a heap of guys who were travelling, but I thought it was really important to make sure that we keep it a bit of a local feel, and you know, just just for the opportunity for everyone to be at training, and and that sort of helped us out a little bit when we've when we've gone to recommit everyone for next season. So it, it hasn't really been too much of a difficult task for me, which is. Which has been good, but yeah, all um, all signed up, just about, and ready to go. And I think, yeah, after having a bit of a break, everyone's pretty excited to hopefully crack into it. And you mentioned there those um, the older blokes that have kicked their feet up for this year. Are you going to be kind of focusing on that balance between your older guys with a bit more experience and the younger part as well? Is that going to be a real focus? Yeah, definitely. Oh, we've we've got a pretty dynamic group. We we probably lack a little bit in the in the middle sort of age group but we've got um you know quality experience guys who I think after a year off will will come back a bit reinvigorated and then we we put a real focus on sort of a bit of junior development I coached the third for a couple of years and um, we're pretty excited to try and get them up through to senior footy so it'll it'll be a good balance but yeah you're right it's um, a bit of a juggling act at times because we sort of do have that um, a few at the top end who are who are a little bit older and then but it's, it's a good opportunity for them to, to lead some of these younger guys coming through with, with some of their experience as well. So we're in a, we're in a pretty fortunate position with the, with the list that we've got, I think. Alex, we're going to take a quick break. We will be back here on the weekend break talking to Alex Hay, the playing coach for 2021 at the Denning Rovers. 1521 2QN, you're listening to The Weekend Break and I'm joined once again by Alex Hay, the playing coach for 2021 at the Denny Rovers. Now, Alex, 2019, that was obviously, well, apart from the one practice match that soared you to success, 2019 was the last time that you guys were having a bit of a run around and it was the first post-season win since, was it 2008 or something, I think? Do you think maybe 2021 you could go one better, or am I am I calling this a bit early, Alex? <laughs> oh, you, you're certainly putting the pressure on. Um, <laughs> yeah, look, no, well, we, we were pretty excited to um, to have had some yeah some final success after I'd been at the club for a, for a long time, and we sort of hadn't seen much of that. So we'd always been really competitive, and you know, probably probably a few years when I first started playing senior footy, we were we were probably arguably some of the better teams in the comp but just couldn't quite translate it through our finals finals record but yeah I, I said at the end of last year it, it sort of does get the monkey off the back a little bit because you know it's always that anticipation when you make finals but you're, you're unable to deliver when you retain most of the list I suppose there is a little bit of little bit of pressure there to 
to emulate the success that you had. But every year is different, and I suppose with the um, there's a couple of new teams coming in this year, and around the league, everyone's recruited really, really strongly. And, and yeah, as I said, we've probably taken a bit of a different approach. We just wanted to keep everyone local. So look, it, it can sort of go one of two ways. You know, you either go really well, or or you might fall away a bit. So it's it's, it's hard to say. But I'm I'm pretty confident if we can if we can put together some of the preseason work that we did at the start of this year. Um, I, I, I really couldn't see why we wouldn't be able to be able to have a bit of success at the at the back end end of the year. But it's it's always just a bit of a um, a management and uh, a bit of a juggling act sometimes, just to try and the list that we've got. You just need to keep everyone on the park, and if if we can do that, I couldn't see why we wouldn't go really really well. Yeah, I'm backing you, boys, Alex. That's for sure. Well, <laughs> the one thing I do want to know as we finish up here is I'm sick of people saying unprecedented circumstances and all that, but it is. It's unprecedented. It's so, just the buzzword this year, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Well, <laughs> as a coach, how do you go out? to a group of blokes that haven't run out for a year, how do you what's what's your mentality as a coach? What are the things that you're trying to uh to get into them? Yeah, oh, it'll be a it'll be an interesting start. I think I've made a conscious effort to sort of stick away with when, when the season finished I didn't want to sort of be, be in everyone's ear too much, you know, it was it was probably a good opportunity to really step away and, and give everyone a decent break, um, rather than try and feed footy down the throat for for the six months while we weren't playing, so I think we just got to run the cobwebs out the first couple of weeks. I think we might um we might start up a little bit earlier and just and just take it really easy, but we'll be getting the footies out pretty quickly. And I think you, we've we've just got to turn it into a into an enjoyment focus. And I think if we we probably don't have the the mentality of going out there and and smashing ourselves too early because with a long layoff, it'll it'll be a pretty pretty long um long preseason if we start too early. So yeah, we'll just be looking to get back and enjoy it. And, I think the thing that everyone's missed the most, not not only in our circumstances, is just that um, just not being around everyone as much. So I think that'll be that'll be um, the driving motivator, just to get back and have a bit of a laugh and carry on at footy training, and then um, and then hopefully crack into a bit of competition when we um, get back going next year. Well, sounds like the legs are itching, Alex. Thank you so much for speaking to me. <laughs> no.